right, here we are. And I'm going to show you something that's fairly simple that you may or may not have already discovered. But this makes certain things very easy um, shape-wise. So let's say we would like to make a heart-shaped fob for um, Valentine's Day. Here's our simple heart we grabbed from the library. And if you hold the shift key while you change the sizes, it's going to have the length and the width um, go at the same degree or same percentages. So you're going to have a more even shape. Now let's add, let's say a bean stitch. Oh, let's just see, go stitch to the um, heart. And there we have a nice little heart outline. Now let's say we don't have a fob shape in our templates, which I do encourage you to use templates and make your own templates. But let's just grab a rectangle for now. Let's say we're going to use that for the end of the fob. And again, I'm going to hold the shift key as I resize things. Um, and then if I change my mind and I want to make it, let's say, a little longer than um, two and five eighths, which that's way long enough. But if I did, just let go of the shift key and you can just do one side or the other to make it longer, shorter, wider, or more narrow. Be careful you keep that even though. I kind of went uneven there. Um, so I'm going to just hit the undo key a couple times. Okay, let's just bring it right back down. So now we have our rectangle shape too. And we're going to give that the same stitch. However, we don't want this part right here when we make a fob. We may want this heart outline though. So um, let's keep that in mind. So let's Command C, Command V on a Mac. And I'm going to pull an extra heart over here in case I want that shape a little later. And now let's go back to these two shapes that we want to, we want to make one outline of both of these. So let's grab them both. I can do it over here in this panel or I can hit on it here and hit my Command key on a Mac and hit that one as well. So I grab both of them. And now we're going to go up to this button right here, which is a union button. It'll create a union, a logical union of these two. I click on that and look what appears right here. This is the union. Let me click on the union. Let's pull it over so you can see it separate. It hasn't assigned stitches yet. So let's go ahead and sign that, that same stitch. Now we have these two pieces here that we no longer need. However, we have our outline now that is an outline of both the heart and the rectangle together. Let's grab this heart now. Let's put it here. But we don't want this to be the same size now, do we? Um, we can just hold the shift key and make it a little smaller like that. Um, but I want to show you another way to do that as well. Uh, one way that can give it a little better of a um, contrast with the way it aligns itself right around the entire um, other heart shape. So let's go to our inflate deflate button and it's called the inflate button but I use it to deflate too. So I'm going to go down, let's go down two and a half shall we? Hmm, let's go down a little more than that. Let's go down three and a half. Okay now you can see that it did a nicer um, flow around the heart shape. And sure to give me a whole lot of extra little nodes that I would work on and clean those up. But it does do a better job. Then let me show you again. Here it is here. And if we just make this smaller ourselves, it doesn't do well around these curves and those um, angles. It doesn't actually just make it smaller um, consistently with all the lines in. I'm not sure exactly how to say that, but you can tell the difference. So inflate deflate works better for that. You still might have to do a couple little adjustments to make it just right, but um, it does much better. So I hope those little tips help you a little bit. And what we worked with today, we worked with the union button. This one was so that we could take two shapes and make an outline of both of them together. And then we worked also with the inflate objects which inflates and deflates both. Okay, thanks for joining me.